Hello and welcome to the fifth part of the Mariska video tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to perform a stress analysis. There are two ways to conduct an ecological stress analysis. You can either assess the stress level of each key ecological attribute that you have created specifically for the ecosystems and their components. Or you can formulate generic stresses that can then be linked to the key ecological attributes. The first option provides a detailed understanding of the state of each ecosystem and its components but takes a bit more time. The second option of formulating generic attributes will be faster, but remains much more superficial. You can always come back and revise and deepen this step if needed. In the end, spending more time at this point means a deeper understanding and, especially in inter- and transdisciplinary planning groups, quite important gains in knowledge. In this case, we will evaluate the stress level of the key ecological attributes. There are also two options here the detailed analysis and the abbreviated analysis. In the detailed analysis, the current criticality of each key ecological attribute is determined based on the scope, severity and irreversibility or permanence. In the abbreviated analysis, the current criticality is determined directly. We opt for detailed analysis. In the first step of the analysis, the scope, severity and irreversibility are determined. Each evaluation criterion is divided into four groups. The evaluation criteria can be found in the Morisco manual or on the Morisco homepage. To make an evaluation, simply click on the desired field. By clicking again, you can undo the evaluation. After you have rated all elements, open the next tab with the title Current Criticality. The software automatically calculates the value from your ratings of the previous step. In case you have chosen an abbreviated analysis, you can enter the value of the current criticality directly here. The third tab includes the evaluation criteria of past criticality, trend of change and future criticality. Finally, the fourth tab determines the knowledge and manageability. It is important to save your results, otherwise they may be lost. Your evaluations are also automatically transferred to the systemic situation model. 